Well, good morning and welcome to another community conversation. I'm excited to speak with uh, our two guests that we have with us today because they represent all things great about Aurora, the Aurora community and the cultures that make up one Aurora. And for more than a half century, the Puerto Rican community has been a vocal and visible force in the City of Lights. The Puerto Rican community members have, have been leaders in business and education and, and government, entertainment, community engagement, and every area of influence and impact in the City of Aurora. This year, we celebrate 50 years of the Aurora Puerto Rican Heritage Festi Festivities. And absolutely, to show some love, show some love. And the city of Aurora is honored. We're honored to celebrate with the planning team as they have worked so hard to make sure these festivities will be a success. Today, we have with us Iris Miller. Hey, Iris, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see uh, you president. too. Yeah, good, good to see you as well. President of the Aurora Puerto Rican uh, Cultural Council and Myrna Lopez Rivera. Hey, Myrna. <laughs> senior advisor to the council. Good morning, ladies. You know, and I know people in the community know you well, but can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your, and your work in Aurora? We'll start with you, Iris. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having us today. Um, so I was born and raised in Jabucoa, Puerto Rico. Um, I moved to Aurora in 1999. Um, I started my professional career in 2020 in the staffing industry. Um, have been doing that since then. Currently work for Staffing Network QPA, um, family-owned business. I'm a senior executive director for them. Um, they are proud sponsors of our fest as well, and we are opening an office here in Aurora as well um, as we speak. Um, I got involved with the Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Council Committee uh, back in 2012. Uh, when my daughter was running for um, Miss Puerto Rico of Aurora back then. And since then I have been involved. Um, I was a volunteer first. Um, then I held the position of a secretary for a few years, vice president, and for the last two and a half terms, the board president of the organization. Uh, my involvement with that community, in addition to the Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Council, we have uh, partner with other organizations in the city of Aurora to um, contribute with efforts um, to do different activities and also in addition to promote our heritage and culture in our beautiful city of Aurora, uh, we have partnered as well to other different events that are happening in the Aurora community. Wow, that's great. That's great. And I know you have been you know, stellar force in the, the Puerto Rican community here, especially the Puerto Rican uh, Cultural Council and making things happen. So we appreciate all your hard work, you know, to push Aurora forward and to show us some great culture, you know, that, that makes us one Aurora and one Aurora strong. Now, Myrna, I know everybody knows you. Everybody knows you. <laughs> Go ahead and tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and um, your background as well. Thank you. Um, again, my name is Myrna Lopez Rivera. Uh, I was born here in Aurora. Copley Hospital, and uh, I moved to Puerto Rico. My parents moved out there when I was five. So I was basically raised in Puerto Rico, came back when I was a junior in high school. I am a class of 84, East High Tomcat uh, graduate. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and um, I've been in Aurora since. Um, I consider Aurora my home. Uh, and my involvement with the Puerto Rican Council began, I believe it was in two, uh, 2009. Um, in 2010, I became president and um, I have seen so many changes come around you know, ever since. Uh, in 2010, we had lost the privilege of having a festival in Aurora for various reasons, but um, we got momentum going. We, we had to regain the trust of the city and Mayor Weisner and we started giving back to the community. Uh, we started doing blood drives. We worked with the Hesed House. We did the community parranda. We did scholarship fundraisers. So we got momentum going and we were welcome again to begin our festivity. So ever since then, uh, we've been going strong. I was president from 2010 to 2014. Ever since then, I've been uh, vice president. I've been advisor. I've retired. They keep bringing me back. I just can't seem to leave, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been a true honor. 
Well, you know what? It's an honor to have you a part of the Aurora community. And the reason they keep bringing you back, Murder, is because you're so you're you're too valuable. They can't let you go. Keep pulling you back in because they need they need that experience, that expertise to get the job done. And you two working together as a team always get the job done. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about the Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Council, its history and mission in the city of Aurora. Can can one of you tell me a little bit about what that history and, and, and mission is? And I know it goes back 50 years. We're about to celebrate that. But how did it start? And tell us about the uh, Puerto Rican community in, in Aurora. Okay, so the organization was founded back in 1972. Uh, its name was Uni United Puerto Rican Parade Committee. Uh, late 90s, that's when the name changed to the Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Council. Uh, for many years, uh, the mission was to promote our heritage in the city of Aurora um, by doing different activities, civic activities with the community, right? Um, the week of the Puerto Ricans, as uh, we were named years, years ago, started with the raising of the flag and leading to the festival day. Different activities will happen throughout the week during this in, in different areas of Aurora. Um, domino tournaments, just gatherings at different places just to get the momentum going for the festival. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, in addition to that, obviously, uh, we are very big on promoting education, right? And uh, it came to place the Multicultural Scholarship Awards. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're very proud of that as well. Um, they have been many presidents throughout the years. You want to talk about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the founding president <clears throat> was uh, Juan Ruberte. He was uh, one of the co-founders and Doroteo Arroyo. Therefore, the council, we have the scholarship is called the Doroteo Arroyo and Juan Ruberte. So they were the founders. Throughout the years, we have had so many valuable uh, com members of our community serve as leaders of the organization. Um, and if you allow me, I would like to just name their names really brief, quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we had Juan Ruberte, Doroteo Arroyo, Juan Rosa, Jacinto Vasquez, <clears throat> Maria Robles, Beatriz Ruiz, Miguel Fonseca, Ovidia Rosa, Luis Ramos, Longino Hernandez, Susana Rosa, Juan Rodriguez, Jose Arroyo, Miguel Rivera, Angie Rosa, Adam Bracero, Myrna Lopez Rivera, Jesus Negron, Jalisa <coughs> Colon, and Iris Miller. And they are the ones that have brought us here today 50 years later. So wow. we are so, so grateful to their contribution. <coughs> that, you know, that's, a, that's a great, great history. Yeah. Great yeah. history, folks, that leadership. Yeah. And if I can add, I was looking through our archives and I came across a proclamation that was issued back in uh, 1996, July 13, 1996. That is when uh, Mayor Pierce uh, uh, designated Aurora Puerto Rican Heritage Week, the last week of July, uh, moving forward. So it's been 25 years since this proclamation. Wow. Exciting. Wow. We're very proud and excited about that. Very excited, very proud, very proud. I'm proud with you. You know, and this year, uh, as we are celebrating the 50 years of Puerto Rican uh, heritage in Aurora, as two proud uh, Puerto Rican women, what does it mean for you and for uh, the Puerto Rican community? Uh, and what do you believe the Puerto Rican impact has been on our community as a whole here in the city of Aurora? Oh my gosh. Um, we want to say so much, right? Yes, um, we are beyond grateful and excited to be part of this huge celebration uh, for the Puerto Rican community in the city of lights of Aurora. Um, even though Puerto Rico will always be my hometown, right? Um, I truly feel Aurora is my second home. And having the opportunity, the support from you, from the city to be able to even though we're not in Puerto Rico, to be able to be here and have that piece of culture, heritage, celebrate together um, in this diverse city is just beyond, beyond. And uh, we're very grateful and give us the best joy and motivation to continue driving um, 
these efforts in uh, of celebrating not only our culture, our heritage, but also instilling in the young generation uh, this tradition. Um, it shows that even though, again, we are far from our island, uh, we always carry with us that island in us. And celebrating 50 years, it is a huge, huge accomplishment. And it shows everything that prior former leaders of this organization have driven to continue this tradition um, to not be gone. Um, and again, we could not accomplish this if it wasn't for you, Mayor, for the city support, for our sponsors, for our vendors, for our board directors, our teams, but also the community staying present and being there with us. Absolutely, absolutely. It's very important, very important that we also, we're one family, you know, and in all our cultures make us, make us strong. The Puerto Rican culture makes us stronger as a, as a community. So we need to celebrate that, absolutely. You know, um, each year we we have what we call the Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Week, as you pointed out in Aurora, where we celebrate and recognize Puerto Rican culture and the pride in the community. We kick off that week with the flag raising, as I've done with you on a, on a number of occasions, and it's a very proud day. Uh, and it's a, the ceremony is followed by events during the week. Tell us a little bit about the flag raising ceremony, what it represents the, to the Puerto Rican community, and, and some of the activities the community can participate in before the big day. So the raising of the flag um, means a lot to us, right? That's the beginning of that week celebration that have happened for years and years. Um, having our flag raised there for a week uh, for everybody to see, for everybody to see that uh, we're here, we're celebrating together in this diverse city of Aurora with everyone. Um, it's starting the momentum, the momentum of what's to come and all the hard work that has been done for the last years um, to be here. Uh, we have, after the celebration of the raising of the flag, we will have a series of events during the week that we were able to um, confirm um, to continue that momentum going leading up to our fest day. Um, and Myrna, if you wanna talk about the, some of the events that we have sure. coming up. Sure. Okay, so the flag raising ceremony will take place on Saturday, that's this coming Saturday, at the Aurora Plaza at 8 East Boulevard, uh, East Galena Boulevard at 10 a.m. We want to tell people don't be late because it's not a long ceremony. If they're late, they're going to miss it. So this is American time, 10 o'clock. Listen, <laughs> buddy. <what? laughs> um, <laughs> so leave your house at 8. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Not PR uh, time, <laughs> not PR time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So later on in that day, in the afternoon, following the raising of the flag, we are going to meet at El Aldito restaurant in uh, downtown Aurora. So we wanna support uh, some of our local businesses. And we're gonna be there between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. They're gonna prepare their special piña colada for Puerto Rican, uh, uh, celebrating you know the raising of the flag so we want to invite everyone to please join us there uh monday july 25th we are super excited uh the paramount theater is going to be uh hosting us by presenting 200 cartas it's a movie of Le manuel miranda and it was filmed in puerto rico it is uh open to everyone it's a family uh uh opportunity to get together the movie starts at seven o'clock p.m it's only a dollar to enter What's the movie about? Uh, oh, the movie is about uh, Lynn manuel Miranda. He meets this girl at a nightclub and she, all he knows about her is that she's leaving the next day to Puerto Rico. He's madly in love just at first sight. She dropped her necklace and he decides to go find her in Puerto Rico and return the necklace. And her name is Maria Sanchez. Mm -hmm. So he decides, he looks in the phone book, he finds out there's 200 Maria Sanchez. <laughs> so he sends letters to all 200 Maria Sanchez. 
And then he goes on the quest to find Maria Sanchez. And it is hilarious. It is wow. a really good movie. Sounds like so, a Cinderella story, kind of. <laughs> yes, we want to really come on out. And we are so grateful to the Paramount Theater for making this possible for us. We are completely honored. Uh, Wednesday the 27th, we're going to meet at McCarty Mills. We are going to spend a good time there just, again, celebrating uh, the upcoming festival. McCarty Mills is at 140 South River Street in Aurora. We're going to be there between 5 p.m. and 9 o'clock p.m. And following that, we have our pre-fest gathering. That's going to be at La Quinta de los Reyes. That's going to be on Friday, July 29th. Um, we're going to be on the outside patio. That's going to go on from 6.30 p.m. till 10.30 p.m. And we're going to have a Latin band, Chicago Latin Group is going to be there. Uh, it's, that's going to be cash bar and restaurant rules apply. So food will be available to purchase from the restaurant menu. Um, and again, must be 21 to consume. Um, Sunday, July 31st. That is, that is festival day. We will be celebrating our 50 years of culture and heritage here in Aurora. That's gonna take place at Water Street Square. Uh, that's 65 Water Street. That's exactly where the farmer's market takes place directly across from City Hall. And the festival will take place between 1 p.m. and 9 o'clock p.m. And we have lots of surprises in story for, for all the attendees. Um, we have a great, a huge children's area that uh, is being uh, put together by uh, Simply Destiny. They're going to be there with their group uh, and just, so we're excited about that. We're gonna be awarding $20,000 in scholarships on stage. So we really want to uh, invite everyone to come out and, uh, and have a good time. Now, I, I know that, you know, that, that's the big day, the July 31st and thousands of people from all around uh, the Aurora suburbs and Aurora area come, you know, to downtown to this Aurora Fest. Uh, and, and you and your team have been planning this and getting it ready. You know, as, as uh, Iris said, you know, um, just stressing out, just getting it ready, not even knowing her husband's at home because he's focusing on making sure everything, all the T's are crossed, I's are dotted. You know, and you said there were going to be a couple surprises. Can you give us a little bit of a teaser of, of what some of this, that experience and some of these surprises might be? Well, on stage, we are bringing from Puerto Rico. Uh, his name is Jovino Gonzalez. He is uh, he's uh, very well known in the island for our traditional music. Uh, so our, the opening of the festival is gonna be with Jovino Gonzalez. It's playing the string with, uh, and we have an Aurora group uh, that's gonna be playing for with him. So he's gonna be doing the vocals and the Aurora group is gonna be playing. And we take so much pride in that music because that, that's, that just symbolizes Puerto Rico. It doesn't get more original than that. So we are really excited to welcome Jovino to Aurora. Um, we also have Kayla Tejero. Kayla Tejero is gonna be opening up with the American Anthem. Uh, Kayla participated 10 years ago at our festival and she won her first talent competition at Aurora's Got Talent. We started that 10 years ago and she won that. And here we are 10 years later, she's gonna come and honor us with her beautiful voice with the opening of the, of the festival with the American Anthem. Um, aside from that, uh, we have a full stage uh, live music. We have Impacto Boricua. That's Aurora's very own band, uh, very proud of them. And we also have Bachata Pura, that's another band coming from Chicago. Uh, we have La Obra, very well-known band. Uh, and we're also bringing Johnny Bellas. Johnny Bellas is uh, a former uh, vocalist for Los Sabrosos del Merengue, very well-known merengue band. So that stage is going to be on fire. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a party. It's a big fun. It, it sure is. It now, sure what I'm is. surprised to hear is that Aurora's first ever. Uh, you said you said Aurora's got talent. We did we did another uh, uh, Aurora group here, Aurora Idol, back in the day. And the first ever Aurora Idol who now works the city of Aurora is Tony Martinez. Now, Tony. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tony Martinez. Yes. 
Puerto Rican. But yes. Even, <laughs> so Puerto we, Rican I, power. I, I love Puerto Rican power. We, we, got, we, we, got, we got to get Tony on the stage, man, to sing a little Absolutely. song. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. We're yes. hoping for him to sing We're the hoping, Puerto Rican anthem. We so. are looking forward, yes, to him accepting our invitation. Clay, we, we, might to make that, we might make that happen, man, because I, I, I love to hear yes. Tony sing. <laughs> oh, that would be. It's hair raising. I hair mean, raising. their voices are just beautiful. It's just. <laughs> they make us so proud. Yeah, absolutely. They, they do. They do. They do. They. Well, you know, well, let, let's, let's talk a little bit, you know, and we're going to take some questions from the audience that, that you know, our, our watchers, our listeners. But I, I want to talk a little bit about the island, if, if we can, so people understand what the culture is that we're celebrating. Now, when I was, I, I grew up here in the Sea of Aurora, and, uh, you know, uh, early, you know, in, in my early years, when I was 9, 10, 11 years old, going to Hermes, school then on to Simmons Middle School, you know, I, I didn't really know about the different cultures and ethnicities. You know, I knew that there were African Americans or black people. I knew there were white people. I even knew that there were, you know, Spanish or, or, or a large population of Mexican people in our community. Didn't know much about the Puerto Rican community. Matter of fact, I saw these folks that I thought were black speaking Spanish when I was a kid. I was like, how do those black kids know how to speak Spanish and how do I learn it? And I realized, you know, this was folks, this was a whole different culture from an island called Puerto Rico. And on this island, you've had folks that were of African descent, you know, dark skin, of Spanish descent, lighter skin, and everywhere in everywhere in between. So tell us a little bit about, about the culture and what it means to be, you know, Badiqua, you know, and, and right here mm -hmm. in, in, on the island and here in the in the state, and right here in Aurora. You couldn't say it better. It is a mixture of three different races, right? Uh, the Spaniards, the Taino, and the African American, right? So that makes us really unique. Um, and it's all about celebrating. Like we celebrate anything you can think of. Puerto right? Ricans find a reason to throw a party. So <laughs> we love to party. We are very happy people, and we will take the clothes off our backs to help anyone. Um, music feeds our souls. Absolutely. All kind of music. So you have your typical music, your salsa, your merengue, all those other music that came after. And it is a celebration, yeah. and it feeds our souls. And also talking of feeding our souls, our vendors. We are bringing the most amazing, amazing vendors. We have extended the opportunity to different vendors throughout the city of Aurora and Chicago. Uh, so we are gonna have a good taste of the island at the festival with our arroz con gandules. We call it our party rice, uh, the roasted pig. There's gonna be roasted pig. Oh, you're licking your lips already. Oh, Puerto Rican rice. Oh, you, yeah, uh, that's all you need to say. I'll be there. <laughs> yes, we have the piña coladas. We're going to have, uh, you name it. It's going to be a taste of the island. Absolutely. Yeah. And you said taste the island. So one of the, the staples of the island is the sugar cane, which rum is, is, is made from the sugar rum. cane. Rum, yes, yes, rum. We would not have that type of rum here. This festival, but yes, <laughs> if we could, we would. And but then, yes. we were able to secure uh -huh. uh, a Puerto Rican beer that, for years and years, we have been trying um, to have it at our festival. But unfortunately, they were not distributed into the United States. Oh. So we were able to secure uh, Medalla Light, which is a Puerto Rican beer now being distributed in Illinois for the last four months. And now it has its presence in Aurora. Distributor, it is in Aurora. Um, so we are very, very happy to being able to have our Medalla Light here at our festival this year. Absolutely. Now you had said something earlier about three um, cultures of people. You said Spaniards, you said um, uh, Africans, uh, many of them slaves coming to, you know, Puerto Rico. And you said another group of people. Taino coming. Indians. What Taino is, what is, Indians. What, so is that the native Indians that were on? Native North Indians, North? Indians that were in the, on the island. Yes. Yes, are the Taino Indians. Are, are there still a, a large um, uh, culture of people that are Taino Indians and they still practice some of the, uh, some of their original practices? There is still some Taino Indians in the island. Yes. Um, uh, there was a documentary, I saw a documentary on that, and I know some still like in Vieques, you can find Vieques is a little island next to Puerto Rico, but there is, and 
uh, we take so much pride on, on that. And uh, the bomba, the plena, those are the dances that back in the day, you know, were played by the uh, African uh, uh, African uh, descendants. descendants. Um, so, no, it's such a, and the reason we're so prideful, because it's such a little island. I believe the island is the size of Connecticut. I looked at it, that was just one of the facts. Okay, and for being so little, you cannot travel more than a couple miles without finding something to do. It's just so rich in culture, and um, it's just a treat. If you've never visited Puerto Rico, we strongly encourage you to. But if you can travel, come to our festival. You're going to get a taste of it. really good on the thirty first. <laughs> Absolutely, look forward to it. Look forward to the yes. food alone, the music, just the the whole experience and ambience and the yes. and the, the feeling of, of culture and happiness. As you pointed out, everybody it's a party. Everybody's happy and accepting of everyone. And I look forward to participating. Yeah. Clayton, do you have any questions from uh, from our listeners? Almost oh, definitely, Mayor. Uh, great job, Iris and Mert, as always. We have a few questions from the community. Uh, talking about being small but mighty. You know, you the small. You talked about the island, the Puerto Rican community of Aurora. We've been one point a couple thousand, small in number, but you've had a huge impact. Fifty years of cultural celebrations, one of the longest running cultural celebrations in the city. You know, the city does a lot of flag raisings now, cultural flag raisings. But you did it first. From a cultural standpoint, you've been doing it for years. We kind of pattern our efforts after what you've been doing for years. What does that mean to you as organizers of this 50th anniversary to come along in this heritage that's so huge? Is it a burden? Is it inspiration? Is it a mixture of both? What is? What are you feeling now as you come on 50 years and carrying this forward uh, and keeping it going? It's inspirational, very inspirational. Um, yes, there's a lot of work behind the scenes to get this done, but it is. I am, I am honored. I am honored to be here today and being part of this celebration this year um, and being able to, to drive that legacy that have been driven for so many years. Yeah. So a lot of emotions, obviously, uh, that has gone through all of us for the last uh, several months uh, due to, you know, for the last two years, we all experienced different situations and challenges due to the COVID situation, right? Uh, we all um, experienced loss, um, but I have to say um, me as a board president and my terms in, in, in this organization, I would say the last couple of years has been the hardest um, to continue driving in a positive way what we wanna accomplish and what we need to drive here. Uh, losing two board members that have been with the organization and, and, and in this community for so many years that were more than just board, board members, they were like family, uh, was, was, was big. We, we, but we came together, we stayed together. And today I know that they're happy. They're happy that we mm -hmm. were able to get here and that we will be celebrating our 50th years of heritage and culture in Aurora. To me, raising the flag in Aurora signifies such pride, knowing that we are part of the fabric of the, lar the second largest city in Illinois. To me, that is big. Mm -hmm. And that is what keeps my wheels turning and, and my eagerness to continue to be a part of this group. Like I said, I've tried retiring since 2014. And I just haven't been able to, uh, but it's because that pride, you know, that pride and just seeing people happy. And again, this is not just about Puerto Ricans are going to come to our festival, trust me, but we want to draw people that are not from Puerto Rico because our mission is to share our culture. So we want people to come out and learn what a little bit of what Puerto Rico is all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Clayton? Yeah, tons of questions here. We get a lot of our staff members, Mayor, who are Puerto Rican giving shout out uh, from Tony Martinez, Priscilla Roscoe, Christine Trinidad, a lot of Puerto Ricans at City Hall they represent. So they're excited for the week. 
business, you talked about vendors and business owners. Both of you are, are business women. You're bosses. We all know that. Myrna, you're entrepreneur, Iris. We know you literally travel the country, opening new offices. Saw so you post a new Houston office just earlier today. So you're always uh, doing both from a business perspective. W look at the Puerto Rican business community of Aurora, from La Chupacabra to the Zero Barbershop to Tap Bill Social, uh, these, these business owners. What has the Puerto Rican business community meant to Aurora and the council for the last 50 years? I'm sorry, you were cutting out. Can you repeat the question, Clayton? Oh, sorry, what, what has the Puerto Rican business community meant to Aurora and the council for the last 50 years, all the Puerto Rican-owned businesses? I think it's huge. Um, I think it is really important that, um, you know, the opportunity that they are given and that they drive to be part of the business here in Aurora and represent um, our, our island. Uh, by being Puerto Rican business owner, um, I think for us again, we're we're proud and 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 it is it is phenomenal that we kept seeing more and more uh, Puerto Rican business owners uh, owners um, establishing business here in the city of Aurora. And again, it's a diverse city which we love to see. Um, so us being part of that and that growth and it's it's. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, to me, the most gratifying part of uh, uh, being a business owner uh, is the relationships I've been able to create, not, and being part of the APRCC, um, it's just the network that you're able to create, giving back to the community, um, everything, what you give, it comes back tenfold. You know, I've been truly, honor and blessed. I became a corporation in 1999 and I've been in Aurora since. And I tell you, I have met so many amazing people. I've been able to work with the Aurora Hispanic Heritage Advisory Board on their board where, thank you, Mayor Weisner for that opportunity, Mayor uh, Irvin for that opportunity. Um, and speaking of, we want to extend our most sincere Thank you to the Aurora Hispanic Heritage Advisory Board. They are our presenting sponsor. And uh, without sponsorships like those, these events could not be possible. Yeah. So thank you, City of Aurora, for recognizing the diversity that is in our city and allowing us the opportunity to bring our Thistia Festival to life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And last question. Uh, we often hear Puerto Rican events, WEPA! Explain to the community what WEPA means. Weba. It's a WEPA. It's a wow. WEPA is like a yeah, baby. Yeah, WEPA. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, baby used to be my husband's yes. signature. Drop it like it's hot and yeah, baby. <laughs> be the guy, like Olga was saying. Olga, Olga, Ana, Olga, she was our, I mean, Ana Elba, she was a, a, an amazing cook. She did most of our festivities that were we cooked to raise funds were by Ana Elva uh, Rivera. And uh, she passed with, from COVID in 2020. And uh, her saying was, be the que hay. Be the que hay means come and ask. We have, ask, we have it. Ask, we have whatever you want. So coming into the, if she had a vendor spot, she would say, be the que hay. It means come and ask, we have whatever you want. Um, so yeah, WEPA. WEPA is like, uh, it's our signature. It's rewarding just saying We're it. Saying, it's liberating to just say WEPA. You know? We're here, WEPA. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that concludes the question or thing. You know, ladies, I, I really appreciate you coming on with us today and, and talking to us and getting us excited about the uh, Puerto Rican festivities that'll be coming up here in the city of Aurora. 50 years, 50 years, you know, that, that's, a, that's a long time. So the pioneers that started this out and recognize the importance of, of sharing the culture, you know, we want to go back and, and, and show them our appreciation and let them know that, that, that we're, we're happy that they, that they created this thing and that, that women like you continued the effort to make sure that we all shared in the Puerto Rican culture here in the city of Aurora. You are a part of Run Aurora. You make us Run Aurora. The fact you helped, as you pointed out, yeah. So the fabric that made us who we are today. So we continue, we, we appreciate the continued celebration 
of the Puerto Rican culture here in the city of Aurora. You know, thank you, Iris Miller and uh, Myrna Lopez Rivera. I'm encouraged, encouraging everyone in Aurora to get out and enjoy the festivities, beginning with the flag raising ceremony this Saturday, ending with the fest on Sunday, July 31st, and everything in between. Let's get out there and party with them. Wepa. <laughs> And I think, and if I can say one more thing, Go ahead. this is a team effort. It's us two here, but this is definitely a team effort. The Aurora Puerto Rican Cultural Council Board, they are working diligently behind the scenes to make this happen. We are looking for volunteers. Anyone interested in volunteering, please contact Janet Rosario. She's the APRCC Vice President, and uh, we can use the help. Looking forward to seeing everybody on Thank Saturday. You. Thank you. And we'll share your volunteer link on the city's social media today. Thank Absolutely. you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Bye now, ladies. Have a great day. Bye-bye.